today we're going to take a look at announcements in the service portal and we're going to create a new announcement style. Then we're going to create an announcement using that new style. So first we're going to need to go to an existing announcement um, or create a new one. So in here in the application navigator, um, I'm going to type in announcements and navigate to that list. So I'm going to select one of our existing announcements here. Um, mm -hmm. Um, and so here we want to uh, look at the display style. Um, you're going to want to create your announcement, fill in all the mandatory fields. Um, and then here you want to select the lookup list. And then we can select a new, if you've already created your custom announcement style, then you can select it from this list, but we're going to create one here. So first we're going to give it a name. Uh, this should be descriptive. Uh, of the theme or use of the intended style. For example, a uh, light branded style or dark branded style because typically there's a, a light and a dark version of brands to, uh, colors sometimes. Um, or urgent outage style. Um, if you want the style to be used when you have um, urgent outages, that would be another good way to name this. So for this particular announcement, I'm going to call it dark branded style because I'm going to have this heavy black background and then the next field we're going to want to fill in is background color and for the background color uh, you know if you're not sure what colors to use in general for the background or foreground color or creating a new style I would recommend starting um, with looking at your company's brand colors um, or a brand guideline if you're not sure uh, other things, red is great to convey urgency or importance, um, and you could use a green style to help signify um, that something's now active or running or working that was previously broken if you're highlighting something like that. Um, one other good note is make sure you're using a hexadecimal value um, or color. So I'm going to add my first one in here, and I just know this off the top of my head. Um, but uh, hexadecimal, which means we want to add the pound sign first, um, and then three or six numbers slash letter combo. Um, and then if you're not sure what hexadecimal uh, to use or what color or how to get that value, you can easily Google online hexadecimal color picker. Um, I have that over in a side window over here uh, that I'll show you in a moment, but uh, Google has one, it, it's pretty easy. And then once I click away from the window, you'll see that uh, I have a block of color representing the value I've set here. So if you notice that the color is wrong, it's um, you know a color you didn't intend to put there. Uh, let's say you can see the change to gray once I change that. So I'm going to put it back to black. And then uh, we have our foreground color. And this is really what color the text and the icon is going to be in the announcement. Um, and the background color is what it's going to sit on top of. Uh, so we're going to want to make sure our background color and our foreground color have enough contrast for the best visibility. Um, for example, I would not recommend putting a light gray foreground color on a light blue background. That would make for a poor user experience. You really wouldn't be able to read it. So you just want to make sure the contrast is enough. Um, you can't really go wrong with a pretty dark background and then using white as the text color or um, opposite using your brand color for the background that's somewhat lighter, isn't too dark or close to black, and then using black or closest to black um, from your brand color. So in this case, I'm just going to use white, which I also know off the top of my head, and uh, oops, might have added one too many there. And uh, it's actually there, but it is white, so it matches the background right now. Um, and then lastly, we have our text alignment. Uh, left align is the default out of box, which is really good for any use case, but we also have center align if that better matches your um, brand. So I'm going to center align just for a uh, difference. And then now I can uh, continue my styles as I would normally. Um, and this is an existing style, so I'm just going to update. But uh, 
Now, if I navigate to the front end, and oh, I need to trigger this announcement. I previously um, dismissed this announcement. Oh, wrong one. My apologies. I'm just gonna make a few small modifications here. So um, another note, and I explained this more in my other video where I go over how to create an announcement um, from scratch, but the display styles are only going to be applicable for the widgets that have display styles turned on. So either your banner type, um, uh, but the widget display type does not uh, utilize the uh, brand colors unless you were to switch the um, announcement uh, uh, widget instance options. Um, and I'm going to update this now. And you can see we do have our brand um, colors applied there. So uh, this is not configured that way out of box. You would need to go to the widget instance options and uh, select use display style on the widget type. Um, I'm going to set it back so only our banner takes on the style. And then um, update the style here, update. Now I should be able to see my banner with the new style. Here we are. And there you go, that's how you create a custom announcement style. For more from Cerna Solutions, feel free to visit us at cernasolutions.com or contact us at the information on the screen. Thank you for watching and we hope to connect with you soon.